So last week, I went to Las Vegas to see all the events that are surrounding the Super Bowl 58. I did not go to the game because, as you know, the tickets are like around $8,000 to $10,000. That's way too expensive for me. You know, I don't have that budget. But uh, I did get to see, like, all the things that are happening around the uh, Legend Stadium and the Super Bowl 58. And it was a very exciting week. So I fly from Philadelphia to Las Vegas. And then we stayed at the Link Hotel and Casino, which is uh, right in the center and on the Las Vegas Boulevard, directly across from uh, Caesar's Palace, you know, uh, where that big sky wheel is, right? The sky wheel is between the Flamingo and the Link. So, you know, the location is good. And I was able to uh, get to everywhere from there. So, the same, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It's not even true anymore because of the social media. As soon as something happens, right, snow, rain, somebody fall down, and uh, people put on the Instagram and the Facebook right away. So now the, I know this, the new slogan has been that for a few years now. It's called, What Happened in Vegas? Only Happens in Vegas. And uh, it says that at the, the selfie stations they have at the Las Vegas airport. So, like I said, What Happens in Vegas? We're not so sure what happens, right? Because last year you saw about the, the flood they had in the city because of the, uh, the heavy rain there. And uh, it happened again, believe it or not, while I was there. And the funny thing is, uh, you know, while the, the hotel's parking lot, it's literally like a river in the desert. And uh, I was making a video, but the uh, hotel security was telling me that it's private property and uh, they don't want people to make video of the, the flood. I don't know why, because it's happening and uh, everybody there can see it. And uh, it was in the news last year. I guess it's old news by now. So I didn't, and I wasn't here in New Jersey. And while I was there, I was busy. I wasn't watching the news. Maybe it was in the news too. So I don't see what the big deal is about. People uh, take pictures or videotaping uh, the flood in the parking lot. So I made video. As you can see, there was a flood and it was severe. And it was preventing uh, cars from going in and out of the parking lot for a while. But... Uh, you know, later on the rain stopped and uh, the, the water went down and uh, all the cars just have to drive on top of the low water and then it, the, the spots there are deep. You know, I see cars going through. I went through it with my rental car. So I don't know what the big deal is, but it happened in Vegas. But hotels and the properties there, they don't want you to know about it. And they're trying to keep it in Vegas. But uh, it's uh, 2023, and that's not the case anymore because, well, I guess both slogans are right, the old and new, because the flood like that happened in Vegas, and it only happens in Vegas. So, they were both right. Stay in Vegas, and only happen in Vegas. So... It was a lot of fun. Uh, the reason I want to go to see uh, the events and uh, you know the week of the Super Bowl, it is because I have heard about people that went to uh, Super Bowl in the past at uh, different cities. And 
they always talk about the uh, the NFL Super Bowl experience, and they tell me, "Oh, you gotta go. It's great. They got everything about football there, and activities, and the giveaways." So you know, one thing I had to do was to attend the Super Bowl experience. Uh, a few years ago, when the Eagles won the Super Bowl in uh, 2018, and then the, it was actually the 2017 season, but the Super Bowl, it's in February of 2018. So the 2018 season, the team that win the, wins the Super Bowl, NFL, will uh, have uh, a, uh, a season kickoff party in that city, the city that wins the Super Bowl. So in 2018, the NFL kickoff party, it was in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I went. And, uh, you know, some of the exhibits are, are very similar, you know, such as all the Super Bowl ring and uh, the, all the, te you know, all the team's helmets and uh, some of the on-field experience, like, you know, you can uh, kick a field goal or uh, you can uh, pass the football down the field, all that stuff, it's the same, but, uh, but, uh, the Super Bowl experience, it's much more grand, they had a lot more, uh, exhibits, and they had a lot more stuff there for you to, uh, for you to see, so, uh, as soon as I got there, we went to the, uh, Mondali Bay, hotel and casinos uh, convention center there for the uh, the NFL Super Bowl experience. Uh, it's kind of weird, you know. I mean, well, let's talk about the event first. So, you know, I parked at the, the Las Vegas sign, right? It's only about two blocks away from the uh, Mondoli Base Convention Center, so I walked over there because I don't, I don't want to have to deal with the traffic and the crowd, and paying, uh, I don't even know, maybe forty, fifty dollars for parking at the uh, the casino, because M MGM does charge a lot now. So our Caesars casinos, they charge about fifty dollars for parking. So I walk over there to the convention center, and, and then uh, there were a lot of people there, you know. It was the first day of the event, which was uh, on Wednesday, and they, you know, the NFL does it on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and no show on Sunday, because Sunday is the game day. Uh, so I went on Wednesday, and uh, they charged $25.00. And then Thursday and on, it would be $50. Uh, I don't know why they did that, which is kind of unfair to uh, people that goes on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But for some strange reason, the ticket was uh, $25, was discounted at half price on uh, Wednesday only. And there were a lot of people there, I have to say, you know, crowd just keep on entering the convention center and I tried to get there early but uh, you know I got there about two hours after the event started uh, it, it, the door you know the, the doors opened for the day at uh, 3 p.m. so I got there like around 5 so anyways uh, inside the convention center for the Super Bowl experience it, it is really grand uh, it is really grand I have to say they have uh, as soon as you're walking there's a, a big stage set up and then you know they, they introduce people a uh, special guest whatever you know they do things on that stage and it's nice and loud and then they also have uh, all the teams you know like one of those uh those mannequins, you know, with the team jersey on, so you can stick your head up to the where the collar is and take a picture. So they had that for all the teams in one area, 
and then they had a football field uh, for the flag football and then Toyota has some kind of football obstacle course set up uh, and what from what I can remember there is a, a wall a see-through wall of all the teams NFL teams shiny helmets chromed and shi uh, shiny helmets on there and then they had uh, a a locker room area for you to see what the locker room looks like and then they had uh, a uh, NFL football hall of fame area of all the uh, the hall of famers or at least the you know some of it there on um, you know their statue on display and then they had uh, some areas you got to pay extra for to uh, take a picture with the, with the Lombardi Trophy. Or uh, you can pay extra to get an autograph from the, uh, the NFL alumni or players that are there to sign autograph for the event. And then uh, there's... Uh, and also the, you know, those, the Madden 23 buses there, there was just a lot going on. And then there's a, a, another separate whole big room area of the convention center. They, they had uh, the mock NFL draft stage set up there. So you can go up there and, and, uh, the announcer will make announcement of you know about uh, which teams drafting who and then you can be the draftee you know the person is being drafted uh, so things like that you know just and endless activities and exhibits and then also in that second room most of the uh, the vendors are there and originally I thought they were just going to set up the table and hand out the free stuff, but that wasn't the case because each vendor actually has their own area, you know, of uh, different activities that set up and things you can do. I think Oakley uh, Sunglasses, they had, uh, this thing is really neat. They have strings hanging from the ceiling and for the little kids, the ceiling will actually come down. And then you can pull a string and then it will tell you what what price you can uh, redeem for on that string. And it's consistent of, uh, you know, sunglasses, hats, and uh, maybe t-shirts, stuff like that. Uh, and then also there is a, a, a NFL Pro Shop set up. Uh, in that second convention center area and uh, you know you can go through it, it's a store you can go through it they have a DJ playing music in there and you can buy a lot of uh, Super Bowl related stuff in there and then uh, whatever you buy it doesn't matter it's like three, a pin for three dollars or a jacket for five hundred dollars they'll give you a, a a commemorative uh, Super Bowl 58 uh, bag, shopping bag, so you can put your stuff in there. Uh, but you have to buy something. Okay, so that's pretty much what the NFL uh, Super Bowl experience is. And, you know, I went and I know. Mm, and, it, you know, it, it was not disappointing to me. You know, the whole thing was, was very exciting and I like all the you know, the activities and the stuff they have there. But some of the criticism I'm having is for one, I thought all the vendors are, you know, because it's it's the Super Bowl, you know, you go to a game, you go to a tailgate, you go to any of the uh, sporting events, and usually the, uh, the sponsoring vendors, they will be out there handing out free stuff, you know, like the things I'm wearing, but like NFL hat and t-shirt, all the stuff I got for free, during the football season from uh, going to different events but the uh, Super Bowl experience uh, there basically is nothing 
really not much for free. There's no free swags and there's nothing for free, right? Uh, other than if you participate in a, uh, you know, activity or some kind of game. But the problem with that is it's like going to a Disney World or a Six Flags amusement park. The line is too long for the activities, right? They fit too many people in that room. And it was really, really uncomfortable in there. And I was, in the winter time, right? It was like 40 degrees outside and I'm sweaty inside. And not even participating in any activities just while I'm walking around because they stuffed so many people in there and it is too hot and I could barely breathe. And the condition inside is not good, you know? Like, it was just hot and and stuffy and then the uh, the lines too long for everything so I couldn't you know I don't want to get in line I have to wait for like an hour two hours just to do something and get a, a free t-shirt or something so I didn't I decide not to get in line and, and and do anything even like the Lamberti trophy you know you got to pay $25 extra to uh take a picture with the trophy, but there is a, a, a super long line too. And so it's kind of waste, you know, wasting of time and money if you pay for anything extra and have to get in line. So I, I didn't do anything that involves a line. You know, I walk around the whole place. And then uh, the, the, the last thing I didn't like about was, uh, was how they arrange people to go in and out of the place because they have everyone going in at the main convention center door, outside door where you go in, where everybody goes in there and you assume where you go in is where you get out. But that wasn't the case because they shut all the, uh, the, the doors, right? That would lead to where you come in, right? To the convention center. And it's for emergency only. So they make everybody walk all the way down to that second room and to the last door over there. And then when you get out, that's the only exit. And when you get out of there, you're in a whole different area. You're not at the same convention center door where you're coming in. You're actually in like a, a ballroom area. And, uh, you know, and, and then they... They kind of force you, right? Just like what the casinos do. They kind of force you to walk all the way down the hallway and through the casino so you can get out. But, you know, the casino is further away from the convention center. So where I got out of the casino, not only I have to walk through the, uh, the you know, the casino's front entrance driveway. It was full of cars and it was a busy day, everybody, you know, there's bumper to bumper cars in the driveway, and for some strange reason in Vegas, everybody's beeping, even those bumper to bumper, you can't get anywhere, but everybody's beeping their horn, it was really annoying, and then I have to walk through the traffic to get to Las Vegas Boulevard, and then I got to walk another, maybe like about block or two, to where the convention center door is, so I can proceed, walk down two more blocks to where the uh, Welcome to Las Vegas sign is. That's where I park my car. So, you know, it was just a lot of walking and it was hot and it was annoying. So, you know, it, it could probably be done better. But the NFL have too many uh, people there. You know, they maybe they should, they should have arranged the timing better. Maybe each ticket is good for a couple hours. And, you know, you go in and you get out. But they stuff too many people in that convention room. And uh, and then the, the way they arrange people to go in and out, it's just not good. And no free stuff. So, you know, it's just a one-time thing for me, you know, this uh, Super Bowl experience. I wouldn't go again, you know. I wouldn't go again because it, it does cost a lot of money, the whole trip all together. Uh, so I went, unless my team is in, you know, playing the Super Bowl and it's somewhere I can get to, I would go. But I wouldn't just go experience the Super Bowl again. So that was the Super Bowl experience. And then, uh, 
that was Wednesday. So Thursday, uh, we had a free day because there wasn't many, the, the you know, events. The Super Bowl is on Sunday, so most of the events were was taking place uh, Saturday, you know, the pregame party, parties, and then uh, on Sunday before the games, the tailgate party, tailgate party, so, you know, on Thursday, it, it was just an off day, so, you know, we uh, went to uh, Area 15, which is uh, a really neat place. Uh, it's a it's hard to explain what it is you know like there is a place similar to that which is a copycat place it's in Philadelphia now it's called uh, uh, Otherly World or Otherly Worlds Philadelphia you know it's one of those places you know it's full of like modern art and uh, and it's you know and it's enhanced by like the LED lights and laser lights. So it's just a place of art and lights and sound. That's the best I can describe and it's pretty neat, you know. So every time I go to Vegas, I always stop by at the Area 15. Uh, it's free to get in. There's a lot of things to see in there. And also... Uh, it's like a mall, you know, they have a lot of stores and then they have a lot of uh, weird bars in there. The stores, you know, it's like Spencer's. They sell weird stuff, right? Like, you know, the, the you know, the neon, neon lights and uh, the glow-in-the-dark black lights uh, items. And, you know, and, and it's, it's kind of neat, you know, and then... Uh, the bars and the restaurants in there, they're actually like the ones you see in the uh, the bars in the Star Wars movie. You know, it's all futuristic and also uh, it's like at the Disney, at Disney, uh, the Star Wars park, you know, they have those bars in there, right? That That's from the, modeled after the bars in the movie, you know, just those weird places. And uh, since it's in Vegas, they also got a lot of space and alien related, space alien related stuff inside there too. Uh, so we uh, went to Area 15, you know, to take a look. And they also have uh, outside art exhibits. So it was neat. And then uh, in the nighttime, we... Uh, we stopped by the uh, the sphere, which is that, you know, that big ball, the light up ball, right? It's it's actually a uh, a concert hall inside, and it's uh, built by uh, Madison Ma Madison Square Garden from New York City. They built they built uh, a concert hall there in the shape of uh, a a ball. And you can see it pretty much from anywhere in uh, Vegas, and and it, the the ball outside is a video screen. So, you know they put a lot of uh, advertisement or the current events on there. And this time, it's pretty much all about the Super Bowl. Uh, I have to say, Las Vegas did a good job because from the airport and on, everywhere, right? It's because it's, it's the Super Bowl week. So everywhere you go, you see Super Bowl stuff. They're, you know, they're trying to get the, you know, tourists there for Super Bowl. So, you know, that's 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 what they advertise. Like everywhere you go, you just see Super Bowl stuff, Super Bowl banners, Super Bowl uh, uh, signs. It was it was literally everywhere. Uh, and the, the Sophia... The sphere too, the ball, it, it's all lit up with uh, all kind of uh, the Super Bowl logos and uh, uh, the Chiefs and the 49ers team uh, logo and Patrick Mahorn pictures on there. It, it You know, it was really neat. And, uh, and then uh, the same night, we, uh, you know, 
my wife and and uh, and her daughter they want to get a, a tattoo so we actually stopped uh, at the tattoo shop in between the uh, the you know the the strip and uh, downtown Las Vegas there are a lot of uh, tattoo places they they actually in between you know downtown and uh, the strip they actually fixed up the uh, you know the main street or Las Vegas Boulevard pretty good. I remember a few years back when I went there, everything was demolished there because, it, it, you know, it was full of, like, wedding chapels and cheap motels. It was kind of disgusting. <coughs> you know, there's a lot of uh, homeless people hanging around there, live, you know, and old restaurants, and, it, it, you know, it was just kind of filthy, but that's probably why they uh, knocked down all the old buildings and now, you know, they uh, built some new buildings and some old buildings, and and they fix it up. You know, you now it, it's all like bar, bars and restaurants there in between downtown and uh, and the strip area, and uh, there I think there were more tattoo shops before, but there's still uh, some tattoo place left, and are still there. So they're known for a ten dollar tattoo. And uh, they want to get a ten dollar tattoo, so they went, and it was pretty quick. You know, they did it right away. They got a ten dollar ten dollar tattoo that they wanted, and then we went to eat at the uh, Tacos El Gordo, uh, which is the most famous taco place in Las Vegas. Uh, people lined up for the tacos there, and the setup is pretty. You know, I'm I'm speaking to Philadelphians, you know. The setup is pretty much like the Gino's cheesesteak, you know, or Pat's, you know, you just, but, the, but it is indoor, you know, you just buy the food from the window and then, you know, you pay for it and then you sit down and eat. Uh, the Tacos El Gordo is uh, directly across the street from uh, uh, the new Resort World Hotel and Casino. So, you know, we, even though it was uh, Thursday, it was an off day, and we did a lot, you know, all together on Thursday, and then uh, Friday, we, uh, you know, started getting a little busier with the uh, Super Bowl events. So, Friday, uh, February 9th, uh, we had scheduled to go to uh, the, uh, the stadium swim at the Circa Casino. Uh, Circa is uh, a very neat place. It's a uh, 21 and uh, up only casino hotel. And it's, uh, it's a newly built hotel with a, a tall, a very tall, 40 uh, some floor tall uh, skyscraper uh, hotel tower. Right, and it's in uh, downtown Las Vegas. It's actually on Fremont Street. And uh, they are known for to have the world's, the world, the world's biggest uh, sports book. The owner, uh, Derek, he was a Canadian uh, hockey player. So he's really into sports, and that's probably why he built the world's biggest sports book inside there. It's multi level. And it's actually like a theater, you know, with the video wall and the seats. The sitting area is like a theater. It goes up. And then they have a, a, a broadcasting studio on the side where, you know, during the hockey season, they do a lot of uh, hockey shows, uh, TV show broadcasting live from there. And then also the other thing Circa is known for is the stadium swim. Uh you know, a lot of things, it's only in Vegas. And this is one of those things. It's only in Vegas and in the whole entire world. Uh, they built a a resource-style swimming pool area with multiple pools. But uh, the difference then between this pool and the other swimming uh, the resort pools is that this is built just like a sports book. They have the, 
huge video screen across the top of the the building in from the pools so you can actually sit in the pools when you know anytime during during the year and watch sports on TV so what they did was uh, in the winter time Las Vegas do get cold like while I was there the temperature is really no different than in Jersey it, it was about 40 degrees 45 degrees every day it was kind of cold right and it was rainy at times so they uh, heat up the pool water to 98 degrees and uh, because I was in the pool and I can tell you right the the pool was smoky from the hot water and once you're in there the water is it's just like in the hot top the water is hot enough that I stay in there for too long and then I would want to uh, get out because it's too hot right so the pool water was hot so they they actually call it right the, uh, for the winter swim they call it the the world's biggest hot tub uh, so what they did was they cover up a couple of the pools and they left because the place is multi-level so they left two pools on each level and that's four big swimming pool open and they heat the water up to 90 de 98 degrees you know so it, it it was neat the stadium swim was neat and then they had uh, the Dan Lee Batar show there it's a variety show you know it's kind of like Howard Stern show but it's uh, I think it's on TV and uh, they did the show live there and uh, they had Carrot Top you know they had a lot of celebrities there on the show for the Super Bowl they had Carrot Top on the show and the Carrot Top was saying that he didn't have the the tickets you know or a ticket to go to the uh, Super Bowl uh, but I you know after the Super Bowl I did I saw the local news uh, Carrot Top was actually there in the celebrity uh, suites you know at the Super Bowl game with other uh, celebrities so he he was there I mean maybe he just said he didn't get a ticket or whatever or maybe somebody got him a ticket later I don't know but I was able to uh, get a picture taking with uh, Carrot Top nobody else did because uh, I was in the pool and after you know after his segment of the show he was leaving and I saw him leaving I was like whoa that's Carrot Top so I jumped out of the pool and I took a selfie you know with my phone with him uh, that was really neat and I, I love Carrot Top's show every time I go Vegas I always go see a uh, Carrot Top because you know it's it's not just stand-up comedy like somebody standing there trying to be funny I mean he used all kinds of props and do things on the stage and, and it really is funny I love Carrot Top's show so I was able to get a picture with him and then uh, also the other surprise that day was uh, after the uh, the Dan Lee Batar show and uh, uh, Tom's you know the Tom 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 the stomach medicine they actually uh, I think somehow they're sponsoring uh, NFL or Super Bowl so they had a a party there for everyone that was there you know uh, to promote their product and and believe believe it or not at the stadium swim right everything's really expensive really expensive in Vegas nowadays at the stadium swim a six pack of beer it's like uh, like $55 and for a case it's like $215 of a canned beer uh, so you know it, it is very expensive a mixed drink it's like anywhere between 10 to $15 so uh, the uh, Tom's party they had a lot different kind of beer and salsa salsa uh, you know beer there they had all kinds of beer for free you know you can just take and then they had burgers they had food they had nachos and then they also have uh, the uh, the roulette table and uh, blackjack table you know you play to get points so you can you can redeem for prices right it, it was really neat so uh, 
So, you know, I played the games. I got some free stuff and got some free food. Even got a coupon for to go to the uh, the Victory Burger in uh, inside the Circa uh, Casino for, uh, you know, $15 off. Uh, that's, that's about how much a burger cost. And we did go to eat the burger Saturday night after the uh, Offspring concert. And the burger was great. So, uh, let me show you. At the, the NFL Super Bowl experience on Wednesday, there was not a lot of free stuff. So all I got was this uh some of this NFL auction, right? Uh bracelet, wristband. And the other good thing I got was this uh Rally towel. It's it's purple. It's a Super Bowl color and uh, it has the Super Bowl logo on it. So these are the only free stuff they had at the. The Super Bowl experience, which, you know, you just sign up with uh, the barefoot wine and you take a picture and then they give you a, a rally towel and you don't have to get in a long line, do a bunch of things just to get a free item. And at the Toyota, you play the, uh, you get in line, play the game there, you get uh, a uh, Super Bowl experience t-shirt. I didn't play the game. Somebody, uh, you see all this, this is kid size, you know, it's, it's for kids, it's small. Somebody didn't want it, and then they give it to me. So I can show it on my show. So, uh, at the stadium swim, got a bunch of things from Tom. You see the Tom's? Chewables. A uh, reverse reversible bucket hat, pretty neat. Koozie with uh, all this. Uh, food that will upset your stomach on it it's like the tom's commercial you f you fight you fight back you know to the greasy food and this uh th this is a light up sunglasses pretty neat Pretty neat. Let's see this. They had a lot of stuff to give away. Other than the free food and beer. It was a good party at the stadium swim. Tom's t-shirt. It says Draft King. Pop Bites. <laughs> Interesting. And then they even give you a clear bag to put everything in it. Really nice. So that was uh, Thursday, first half of the day at the, the stadium swim at Circa Casino. And then in the afternoon after uh, swimming, we went to uh, eat at the, the 888 Korean barbecue and hot pot in Chinatown, Las Vegas. Uh, I love that place. We always go there every time we go to Vegas. It's like $26, uh, $26.99. The price went up a dollar, I think. It used to be 25 And you get uh, both uh, 
Korean barbecue, and the hot pot. The barbecue part is you can order all the meat, right? It's, it's all you can eat. You can order as much, uh, you know, the uh, like beef brisket and the marinated uh, Korean beef or like uh, rib, ribeye steak, you know, uh, pork belly meat, sliced pork belly meat, whatever, you know, they have on the menu. You can order all the meat. To cook on the bar uh, the barbecue grill that's building to the table and then also the hot pot some of the meat and uh you know shrimp tofu other stuff you can and the vegetables you know corn you can you can cook it inside the hot pot and the hot pot it's also uh you know a, a soup uh and then they have like fried egg rolls and fried uh, tam tamara shrimp you know, you can water it and you can just dip in the sauce and eat like that. So, you know, that's a that's a great deal and and the food is it, it's awesome. I, I love that place. We always eat there, so we did that in the afternoon. Uh you know, there were other events going on that night in downtown Las Vegas. There's a, a, a country music concert, but you know, there's only so much you can do and and, and we do get tired. So, uh, we didn't do anything else on Thursday, and then, uh, on, well, that was Friday, actually, and then, uh, Saturday, Saturday, uh, the day before the Super Bowl, uh, it was a full day of multiple events to go to, you know, we, I plan on going to, uh, the Verizon, uh, pregame party, and then the uh, the the super super fan block party at the VSSR Las Vegas, which is a, a exotic car rental place, and uh, in their parking lot set up by the uh, the the Las Vegas tailgaters. I guess is a group that does tailgate parties there, and they had uh, a uh, a block party there. And then the following day, they're doing the the tailgate party which is the real event so on saturday they did the block part super fan block party and then uh in the nighttime we were going to downtown las vegas for the exact excessive experience ball uh party which is set up by the uh, the fremont street uh downtown committee and they uh they have a offspring you know the rock band off the offspring concert there so that that's full day of events you know it's very tiring in vegas you can only do so much so uh verizon party it was uh taking place at uh scotty's uh restaurant in the tuscan heights uh community uh you know when, when you drive on the highway right before you get uh, to Vegas in the desert, you see a lot of rooftops, you know, you see a lot of communities on the side of the highway. And, you know, it always makes me wonder, like, who lives there, you know, like, what is the liking side? And this place, it's, you know, the Tuscan Height uh, community, or Tuscan Highland community, you can look up on the internet, it's nothing like it, right? It's nothing like it. It it is kind of uh, like a uh, a fancier uh, or s standard uh, uh, condo community in you know in the uh, in the Arizona Las Vegas in those desert area you know the the building itself is not you know the apartment buildings is not very very fancy but this is called an uh, apartment resort community so what happens is when you live in that community right when you're living in that condo community it's actually uh can you imagine you know like you live at apartments we got them everywhere here in jersey philadelphia area you live in a, a apartment community and it's actually like you're at the, you check into a resort they got really nice resort style pools there and a computer lab and a community 
community center that has the a restaurant building to it and then it has a, a gym you know like uh with the exercise equipment you know just like you would use it like on a cruise on the ship or uh you check into a, a fancy resort or hotel you can use their exercise equipment so this is that kind of uh apartment so you know it it's really neat and fancy there all the the resort extra stuff they have there for the people that lives there i have never seen anything like it before uh so the verizon party was taking place inside uh, uh their uh restaurant which is scotty's restaurant right and uh you know it, it was really nice uh you when you get there you can play a uh a game you know on you scan the qr code you play one of their game online and then they get they give you uh a a twenty dollar walmart gift card uh i don't i'm not sure where my card is oh here i actually have it i'm prepared they give you a twenty dollar walmart gift card just for to be there and then uh then they give you some uh drink tickets and the food ticket and then turns out the food it's uh all you can eat you know but uh you got to go up to the, the the kitchen area and you get one plate at the time and for the drink tickets i got uh i just ordered a couple of the the daiquiris you know the frozen drink because usually they're more expensive than just like a cocktail because they have to use the blender to make it. So I got like a mango daiquiri. And then I got. Uh, uh, I don't remember. Maybe a, a strawberry or something else. They they were making there. You know. Like mixture of two different things. A passion fruit or something. It was really neat. Right. And then they also give you ra uh, raffle tickets. You can. Uh, you know. You have to wait until the end of the event and then they draw the raffle and it was so much fun you know it was so much fun there were people there was acting crazy because of Verizon it's a phone company right so they pull the ticket and then they call you on that the phone number you put on the ticket they call your cell phone and you have to answer to win and uh, a lot of people didn't answer their call you know a lot of winners didn't answer their call so the people you know, the people that was there say, oh, throwing the ticket away and pull the, you know, pull the draw again, pull the next one. And so people was going crazy over that. And uh, I did not win anything. And, you know, they had the, uh, I think Raiders, NFL player signed uh, football and hats and other merchandise. I did not win anything, but I did get some free stuff they had there, uh, this nice Verizon 5G mug, coffee mug, travel mug, and I got a blanket, you know, inside the bag, I am not taking it out, it's just, uh, a blanket, you can use it on the airplane, or, you know, put over your leg to keep warm in the winter time. So the Verizon party was good. We ate, we drank for free. We're relaxing at the the pool area, just hanging out, and got some free stuff. And then uh, we left there and went back to uh, Las Vegas near the Strip area. We were looking for the, I was looking for the super fan block party, and uh, believe it or not, uh, I used the Google map, which is not always accurate. But it was literally around the corner. Okay, literally. I'm serious. Just around the corner. I thought the Google map was wrong because it told me to go around. And I thought it was extra. So I saw a, uh, a big tailgate type party in the parking lot right there. So I stopped there. And... We were looking for the super fan block party, and you're not gonna believe this. We ended up at a marijuana dispensary super bowl party. 
and it was really cool. They had a uh, table set up from each one of uh, the sponsoring uh, uh, product, right? Whether it's uh, marijuana, you know, vape, or or uh, like chocolate that contains uh, I I don't I don't know the words for it because I don't you know I'm not into you know, using marijuana or drugs or anything, you know, it's like CBD or something, I don't know, but it's like, I just call pot or marijuana, right, uh, con you know, contain chocolate or uh, like cream, whatever, whatever the product is, I'm not very familiar with the names and the product of that nature, but the sponsoring company, they all set up table there. And the people who work for those companies are super friendly because they want you to go in the dispensary and buy their product, you know, and then they had a 40% off, 50% off that day. But, uh, the, you know, and, and they also set up some football-related games. They had uh, this uh, field goal set up and you have to toss the football over the field goal inside the giant uh, buckets. And it sounds easy, but just like the casinos, I tried six balls. Couldn't get anyone inside big uh, trash can buckets. Couldn't get any in. For some reason, it's like loaded dice. The ball just jump, you know, just jumps over, away from the, the buckets. But I was okay because they still give you a gift. So anyways, I got a lot of free stuff. So I got this hat, this nice hat from weed map it's a company that sells marijuana related product i got this slack koozie with some uh foam finger and they're literally foam finger because you put on your finger foam finger Really neat. Look at that. That's a good post right there. Number one fan. Let's go. It works. And then they got some uh, stickers. This is uh, a scent. For the air freshener for it to use inside the car. You hang on the rear view mirror. And some. Told you everything in Vegas was Super Bowl related. I guess they this company made some football related for the Super Bowl party they had. To promote their product. Rove. Yeah, it says Rove. R-O-V-E. They even give me a football. I like it. It's really nice football. Because, you know, the luggage I have, you know, with the spare airline, I can only bring so much stuff back. You know, I did buy an extra luggage up to 50 pounds. So I couldn't bring everything back. I have to leave a lot of stuff behind in Vegas, but... I tried, you know, so, like, I brought back as much stuff as I could, free stuff for my show, you know, to put on my show so people can see. Legalize America, it's a campaign with one of the company that was there selling a marijuana product. And also this uh, drawstring bag. But to put everything inside. So I was looking for the super fan uh, block party, end up at a, a marijuana party, which was really funny. And then after I left the marijuana Super Bowl party, right, the disp dispensaries, marijuana dispensaries Super Bowl party, I was still looking for the, uh, the, the block party I was supposed to go to. And I got back in my car. I literally pulled out the parking lot of the dispensary, 
one around the corner and it's the lot behind the dispensary building, right? Because the buildings are on both sides of the lot and facing two different streets. Literally right behind the dispensary, that's where the Las Vegas uh, VSSR is. And uh, I found uh, the super fan block party and apparently they were still setting up everything for the tailgate party for the next day while they're throwing this uh, block party and uh, there was just too many parties in Las Vegas and and not everybody goes to every party so you can't right like while we're at the uh, era 15 we were invited uh, by the promoter you know to go to a, a rap concert at night they're taking place at the uh, one of the bars inside the area 15 but uh, we you know we were tired you know after all day driving around going to places where we were tired so couldn't go to all the parties so uh, the super fan block party it wasn't very happening there was a handful of uh, probably like local you know lo uh, local tailgaters you know people from uh, the area tailgate for the uh, Raiders usually and uh, you know they were selling drinks there's fairly cheap in for Vegas stand there's five dollar mi big mixed drink for five dollars uh, they were selling t-shirt for like fifteen twenty dollars which is not that bad you know and it was just not a lot of people there so I just stopped by there and and look around and then I left right so that was because Saturday night we were going to the Offspring concert. So now went back to the hotel, get maybe like an hour sleep, a couple hours sleep, so tired. And Saturday night we went to a downtown Las Vegas, Fremont Street for the Offspring concert. And the Fremont Street, it's called uh, the Fremont Street Experience. You know, they have the many, many years ago, they covered the whole street with the video. Uh, video ceiling back then it was a one of a kind and then they have a, a video show every hour and then later on they added uh the uh zip lining there which was famous for uh for the fremont street and it's always crazy because the bars are you know the because the old casinos are on both sides full of leon lights and the bars are right on the Fremont Street. So you can buy drink, you can drink on the street, right? It's for pedestrian only. And uh, people drinking and get crazy there a lot, you know, a lot of crazy and weird things. And the street performers and the uh, guys and girls are literally naked, nearly naked they'll charge you like ten dollars twenty dollars to take picture with you so there's all kinds of craziness going on on that street on the fremont street uh so i got uh some of the uh oh this pin little pin from the Las Vegas uh, Super Bowl committee and I think they have some other stickers and stuff which I got on my video but uh, I, w I was too busy you know making videos and was occupied I I, I, f I didn't get any of the stickers uh, and, and then you know stay there saw the offspring concert it was really cool you know they Sing everything, you know, like all the their their hits, you know. Uh, it was a good concert. It was uh, no disappointment there. It was really wild out there on the Fremont Street, and uh, one of the crazy dude, right? I don't know what his problem. Well, there's no problem. I just don't know what he's doing right i don't think he was drinking maybe he just crazy and friendly 
he uh, while I was making the video and he jumping my shot and then he started to show me everything there. Maybe he's looking for to get a tip. I don't know, but uh, it was fun. It was fun experience. Here we are in Las Vegas. And like, come on, let me show you. So here we go. We got the uh, Fremont Street Experience. Over here, you have Big Hits. You also have uh, I've got another casino that I don't remember the name of. And you have Beat, which is uh, Dennis, the motherfucker Dennis. And here's a trash can, there's a trash can. There's a guy in a pimp coat right there. And a pimp coat. Makes no sense. He has no whores. He has no hookers. But he's wearing a pimp coat. Look, he ain't got it. Look, let's go. Let's see him. Cheese. The cheese jacket. No whores. None. Pimp coat, no hookers. You know what? If he goes to the plays ball, they'll probably think he's good. Now I do think Kansas City's gonna win, but like, come here, come over here. Look, look. I don't think he has any hookers. So let's go find him. So here we go. Over here you have merchants. They have great stuff that you don't want to buy because it's garbage. So come over this way. This is Vegas cigars. Guess what? They're way worse than any cigar you've had. So bad. I don't know why you need to buy one. I would rather suck on that guy's fucking jacket than these cigars. Look, that guy's even in a vape. He's not even smoking his own cigars. That's how bad they are. And, where you from, brother? Where are you from? New Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah. Jersey? Jersey. All right. So I live in D.C. for a while, so let me show you a couple of things. That makes no sense at all. So, over here, we got these guys. And these guys from Jersey. So, what's up? Hey! Hi. You're local. Crosswalk where they should. Look at this. Uh, yeah. and, and These guys look like all those. Hey, this guy's from Jersey. So what's up, brother? They're fake. <laughs> like he's wearing like a face mask and shit, but he's probably never shot a gun in his life. We call those fives that think they're tens. They're not. They're not going to have any guys on them. And they're going to walk around all night. Just go home alone. So you got that full guy's head. Actually, they might shoot through each other. I don't know. All right. Oh, come on over here. So, stand back, though. You should try to charge you a lot of money. Right, right. I know. <laughs> I, know I know. So, I know. Yeah, act like you feel with me. Somebody, how can do something? <laughs> because trust me, if she did that, it would cost you like 60 bucks, bro. Right, right. You don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Right. I'm showing you the secrets, bro. I'm showing you the secrets. Now, over here, we got the D, which you don't want to go there. I mean, just because, like, I don't know why. I'm scared of it. It's a big D. I don't want to go to a big D. I don't know how she So. I'm wearing women's glasses all the time. Yeah, you see that. Yeah, kind of. So, the girl that I got these glasses from, she disappeared on me. She had a husband, too. And I was like, well, why are you like all of them? You have a husband. Fair question, right? What else? What else I got? I'm trying to give you a good video, bro. No, it's okay. It's okay. Is that good? Uh, we good? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. The concert was great, and then after the concert, we went to a circa 
to the Victory Burger. Use use our fifteen dollar coupon. You know, pay a little extra. I got some onion rings, some some milkshake, and you know, special Valentine's Day pink milkshake. So it was a great experience at the Fremont Street experience for the excessive experience for bash. I said it. It's a long name for a party. And that was the end of Saturday night. Uh, Sunday game day. Very exciting. I, I was so excited Sunday when I woke up, you know, because I know it's game day. Uh, so, good thing is, uh, uh, the party I'm going to, right, it's right behind, uh, the sky wheel, right behind the link, the link, uh, hotel, casino hotel where I'm staying at. The party is directly behind, it's the, the famous chef, Guy Fuhrer. Uh, it's called the Guy's Flavortown Tailgate Party. Uh, you know, everything, it's very expensive, you know, for all these tailgate parties. I have seen some of the, uh, the tailgate or the game watch party, right? They're separate tailgates, tailgate, game watches, game watch, game watching party. And, uh, the tickets are literally, like, say the circuit, right? In their sports book, table for, table for four, it's $10,000. For to watch the game there and even at the stadium swim and standing room only ticket it's three hundred dollars and uh if you get a cabana you get a a, a day bed it's like five thousand dollars eight thousand dollars <coughs> i still got this call from uh from the cold and dry air from Vegas. It never went away. Uh, so, yeah, it's very expensive. And uh, for the guys, Flavor Town Party too, tailgate party, you know, like I think for $150, you get to enter, guarantee entry, and then you get to sample, not even like a full plate. You get to sample 10 of the... Uh, the flavored town uh, food that's created by Guy Ferrer, right? And you only get 10 samples, and then you can pay, uh, I don't even know, maybe $800, $1,000. Then you get the uh, VIP area, all you can eat, all you can drink, and stuff like that. So I have no, because I ate so much that I have no interest in food, you know, so, uh, I just got, uh, Cash App, Cash App is a sponsor, so I got the Cash App free guaranteed entry ticket, so I make sure I get my ass in there so I can make the video and take some pictures, so, uh, I was there, it's, uh, I, I usually go to the events early, you know, so I can get all the free stuff and e it's easier for me to make video with less people there. But for some reason, right, this event, it's it's like a big concert. Before the gate was even open, the line was already really, really long outside. And then once the gate opened, the line just gets longer because people keep on coming. And I guess this is one of the main events they had in Vegas, you know, for tailgating. The line just gets longer and longer and longer. But the good thing is all they have to do is uh, check your bags and let you in. So the line moved fast. Once I got in there, the place was already, I mean, the gate just opened and the inside was already packed. Uh, I walked around. They had a concert stage set up because they have some uh, country singer uh, performing there later and then some uh, DJ and stuff like that, famous DJ and stuff like that. Uh, so, the whole time I was in Vegas, there were a lot of Eagles fans there from the airport and on. It's like, just like you're walking on the street in Philadelphia, right? Every time you see somebody or somebody sees you with the the Eagles green on, the Eagles logo on, and 
they say, go birds, go birds. So it's like in Vegas, everywhere I go, it's like, go birds, go birds. So uh, NFL experience, it was like that. And uh, this tailgate party was like that too. And I even saw people I know uh, tailgating at the Lincoln Financial Fields uh, parking lot on the game day in, you know, in Philadelphia. And, and uh, I even saw this guy that, that looks like and dress up like Gary, uh, Guy Ferret, right? He, he's got this spiky uh, white bleached uh, hair and, and uh, the goatee looked just like him. I took a picture with this guy. I took a picture with him in Philadelphia too at the Force and John tailgate. So there were a lot of Eagles fans there. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people are just like me. They Last year, they thought the Eagles was going to get back in the Super Bowl again this year. So, you know, so a lot of Eagles fans pre-booked uh, the, the airfare and ho hotel stay. But uh, e unfortunately, the Eagles uh, collapsed, you know, near the, halfway through the season. And it was no good. So, But anyways, you know, I saw a lot of Eagles fans there. And then they had a, a, a surprise. The first uh, no DJ on the stage. It was uh, it was uh, Flavor Flav, right from Public Enemy, and it was really neat. You know, Flavor Flav. I didn't even know this. He say he has living in Las Vegas for the past nineteen years and all that stuff. So he was uh, playing music. Uh, entertaining the crowd on the stage. Well, one time, one time, everybody in here, let me hear y'all scream this shit real fucking loud. Let me hear y'all say, Flavor Flav! And y'all guess Which was really cool and then I walk around uh, the whole place it's similar you know just like any tail other tailgate or like the uh, the NFL experience they you know sponsor uh, sponsor company set up different uh, 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 areas you know they have a lot of activities like football toss and uh, field goal kick um, Things like that. Coca-Cola had a setup where they uh, hand out free, uh, sugar-free, cherry, uh, it's not Coca-Cola, it's Pepsi, I'm sorry. Sugar-free, cherry, Pepsi. They just hand them out. And then, uh, this company... They just put the stuff there and, and people take free stuff. Bitch, please. Hat. Super Bowl collar, have you noticed? Oh, this company's called Thunder. Thunder Bitch. See the Thunder Bitch button? shot glass guy fairy koozie this one's better it's got his cartoon on it this koozie so you can see what's about Some tattoos. But I had uh, a uh, a bleacher stand there where you know you can go up there and sit. So they, the only thing they handed out was the butt light, tall koozie. 
you would think, you know, but like, would do a lot more because throughout the football season, they do a lot of things, you know, give out, give out a lot of free stuff, but that's all they had. That's why I was saying those companies, they don't have much free giveaway there at the Super Bowl. And the guys, guys foundation wristband bracelet. Let's see what else? Not much. Some uh, postcard I got from the parties, other parties, from the reef dispensary, some other tailgate party stuff. They're really into Mexican food in Las Vegas. Barbecue and Mexican food. So, the guy Fairies tailgate party, Flavor Town tailgate party was cool. I took some pictures. I saw Flavor Flav on the stage playing music and, uh, you know, shop around, got some free stuff. And then uh, the main event, of course, is Sunday night, uh, Sunday game day. It's the Super Bowl 58. So I went to uh, the Super Bowl game watch party at the Silverton Casino. Uh, they're watch, you know, Silverton Casino, it's only about four and a half miles down Highway 15 from the stadium. It's on the same side from the Alleging Stadium. So, you know, I figure if I go there, maybe I will see, uh, you know, the Thunderbirds uh, flying over. But uh, it was still a bit too far away. I did not see the Thunderbird doing the, you know, singing uh, of the National Anthem. I couldn't see the Thunderbirds from there, but it was still a good uh, game watch party. It was $50 for the ticket. Uh, all you can drink. Yeah, they have set up, they set up bars outside, all you can drink, it, the party, it's out in the parking lot, uh, and then they have food trucks there, right, so any of these events you would think, like, it would be fenced in or gated in, and then even if it's in the parking lot, they would set up barriers, and you have, you know, they check your bags before you go in, but, but in Vegas, right, four or five miles down the road away from the city. It's very country. It's just like the 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 Scotty's restaurant in the Tuscan Highland I went to that community, right, for the Verizon party. That's even further that's about ten miles away from the uh the strip. So it's very country out there. So this party, this this is a big casino too, big old casino. They have a best pro shopping site. And it's one of those, they have the waterfall and, and the whole experience. But anyway, this is only about five miles away from uh, uh, the strip, the city. And uh, it's very country there. So basically, it's just a big picnic. You can bring your own food. You can, a lot of people even bring their own cooler, their own drink. Just sit there, bring their chair. They have some tables set up, but it's, it's not enough room. So a lot of people bring their own chair. You can just sit out there and watch the game on TV. And you don't even have to buy the drink package for $50. You know, because what, I had a lot of food, right? Leftover food. And there's a lot. It was the last day down in Vegas. I couldn't bring it back. And I wasn't sure if they allow you to bring food into the game watch party. So I just bought the food with me anyway. Right? So I ended up eating the food I brought with me to the. You know, parking lot of the Silverton Casino. It's very country out there. there. There's no checkpoint. They don't care what you bring in there. Uh, I don't know. It, as far as I'm concerned, people, you know, in the desert, people probably pack guns and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what people have, but they don't check nothing. And everybody is very nice there, you know. People are much nicer than... Uh, people around here and you know like, like nobody's really like doing a lot of crazy yelling and screaming like the uh like the buffalo bills or uh eagles fans every everybody's really nice there 
and then uh, we just sat there, watched the game, you know, had some drinks, and they give you uh, as a souvenir, they give everybody a uh, a cooler, a football cool, Super Bowl football cooler, right? Soft cooler, you can put your stuff inside. Has a handle. They they have so many of the things made, right? And usually, you know, like other casinos, they would just keep it and then they use for like to give away to the uh, casino players later when they have the gift giveaway. But they made so many of it, right? At the end, or not even the end, like later on, they brought out cases and boxes and boxes of the things. And first, they had a girl to go around, hand them out to people, you know. Uh, people probably didn't even buy any drink tickets or anything there they, because uh, when you register at the table you get one for free but then later on the girl just hand them out to everybody and then uh, and then they got more so they start to hand out of, of the things by stacks and I was telling the girl right she gave me a stack of it I told her I said I have to you know travel back, back to New Jersey and uh the luggage is only so big, you know, the airline only allowed me to carry so, so many things, you know, and the weight too, so I couldn't, I couldn't bring all this stuff back, I wish I could, you know, and she's still trying to stuff a whole stack of it to me, and I told her, I said, I can't take it, right, so I, I took a couple of home, pretty neat, you know, some free stuff, better than nothing, so that was my whole experience of uh, a Super Bowl uh, it's not like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas I just told you guys everything I know and I saw in Vegas uh, it it costs a lot of money still you know it costs a lot of money even though I'm on a, a budget and then even go to the, the Super Bowl game at the Legend Stadium still cost me a lot of money just to go because everything is more expensive when there is an event especially a huge event like the Super Bowl uh, the, the stadium area it was closed days before many days before the, the, the game day on Sunday in the parking lot the area outside the stadium, outside the gate, where usually people can walk around. It's all fenced in. And those areas turn, parking lots and stuff, turning into, uh, like, the, the tailgate parties, right? The NFL have for NFL on location, which means you pay thousands of dollars for package for tailgate party, that including the, uh, the game, game ticket. Right, and then you get to go to those parties. Uh, so the whole area was fenced off. Uh, all the parking lots. So it was really crazy. You can't get nowhere near the stadium. But uh, I was managed to get as close to the stadium as possible. Just to take some pictures. Uh, so it cost a lot of money. But it was a good experience. And it was fun. So uh, I would recommend any football fans, NFL fans, if you have not been to a Super Bowl, uh, it's definitely worth it, you know, it's worth the money to get a hotel room to go to a Super Bowl, even if you can't afford to go to the game, it's definitely worth to go there for the week or the weekend just for the Super Bowl uh, experience, and I'm not just talking about the NFL Super Bowl experience event, I'm talking about the whole experience in a city where they host the Super Bowl and it's definitely worth it to go there you know all the parties and all the craziness and and everything is Super Bowl related it's football related so it's definitely worth it so I, I have no regrets of going uh, to Las Vegas for to see what the Super Bowl is like and uh, I would encourage any football fans you know do the same in the future you know wherever the football is if you have some interest in that city or you have a little bit extra money, go ahead and check it out. So, uh, 
That's it. What happened in Vegas? I just told you all. Oh, it didn't stay in Vegas. And it only happens in Vegas. So there isn't a whole lot of event now other than uh, some uh, Sixers basketball and the Flyers uh, hockey. Right, there might be some game, game watch party here and there. So uh, I'll try to attend some events, maybe even some unsports related events, and then uh, make some videos for my, for my next show. So see you next time.